tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. Hi there, I'm recording this in the middle of the night. Everybody sleeps, that's why I'm not talking very loud. Um, if you like this, I certainly do, you probably don't. It comes, it's just a motion blur version of this rendering. Okay, um, in all complex pieces of software, you have all sorts of tools, and sometimes you can mix them. And today we mix two tools in Maya. One is under modeling, it's under mesh, the Boolean operation, and the other one is the mesh. This is the mesh tab. You can also reach it um, by going to FX, and here is mesh create a mesh network and that's what we're going to do today why would we mix that well why wouldn't we okay polygon modeling I create a cube and I move it a little bit up because of uh, well you don't know and I don't know either um, it has to do with a mesh network and I freeze the transformation that means I'm setting the resetting all the parameters for this cube so this is zero 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 here rather than being in the center of the sea um, this is not necessary but I like to do it create a mesh network that's what I'm gonna do now I have ten of them and in order to have a little bit more uh, nice color I right mouse click here assign a new material and I assign a material from Maya and Arnold shader which is well let's make it this kind of blue green ten of them when I go to mesh here in the outline if you don't see the outline of this see I can to make the outliner active click on mesh and then uh, the distribute node you didn't invoke that it comes automatically because we need some kind of distribution of these things and uh, I did a tutorial about uh, 1 million I think 1 million of these things uh, it's it's, a, it's a, an amazing tool for creating complex things um, from single objects here I have the distance I can reduce this distance and here I have the number of points and I can reduce the number of points as well so let's go for 5 and reduce them again so this is a good starting point now we go back to the mesh node and here I have the tools which I can use and one of the tools to create a, a nice animation is the signal node and I uh, move the mouse to the right here and I add a signal node that creates a different distribution of the cubes and they signal around like this forward and backward and um, it's a very lean animation by the way uh, when you go to the signal node here uh, you can change all kinds of parameters for example the distribution uh, the step amount uh, it's a it's a very rich and interesting tool and I think I did one or two tutorials about the signal node already when mesh came out with uh, Maya okay the second thing uh, I'm going to do, this is the mesh network, the second thing I'm going to do is I create a sphere like this and I give it a color, new material and Maya Lambert and I make this red it's quite drastic red, let's go a little bit for more for orange now I have the sphere selected and I, with the control key, I, in addition, select the mesh repro mesh, which is the geometry of our mesh node. And I go to modeling, and here I find Boolean operations, and I create an intersection. You already see that it works. Let's go to the beginning the cache has been calculated all of the the blue line is here I expand the frame range to say 300 now it's recalculating and 
now we already see some kind of effect. We can make this more drastic when we scale the sphere down. And we also can change the signal node. So it starts signaling a little bit more into the Z direction. How do we do this? Mesh signal, position Z. And now it reaches the end of our sphere, the orange sphere, on all sides. That's basically all I wanted to show you. It's a mixture between two totally different parts in Maya, the polygon modeling tool, the Boolean operation, and the mesh network. Imagine if you have a couple of more of these boxes here.